Hello everyone, my name is Jeff G. I'm the head instructor at Corpus Christi Downtown Karate, the South Texas Budo Training Center. Um, today I wanted to cover the Kokusirach, back stand. Um, so this is my opinion on how to get to back stands and also the di different distribution of weight. Um, so here we go. So most of us, I'm gonna put this down, most of us, including myself, um, have at one time or another, or still do sometimes just out of habit, will do back stands as though we're doing kibirachi. So what ends up happening is, is we, we go to kibirachi here, 50, about 50-50. Knees are supposed to be over the toes. But a lot of us will step into back stands and will pretty much be in the same position at 50-50. So, and I think this is okay for beginners. And, and when I'm teaching um, at the end of Katehean Shodan, I just tell my white belts and numbers, just bend your knees, just bend both knees, as opposed to trying to explain the, all the differences of, you know, back stands to front toes are this way, these toes are that way. So what ends up happening actually for them over time is the front foot does turn forward. And so uh, maybe you can also use that little bit of a teaching tip for your beginners, especially the kids. So I just, when they get to the end of the hand, show them, I just say bend both knees. But back to, to the subject at hand. And so my interpretation of getting to, to back stands is through horse stands, through kibudachi. So, and I'll demonstrate here using the Joe. So let's say that right here, when we go to, to Kibirach, let me make sure you can see. So we are at 50 50. And I want to put this Joe right in front of my knee here. So now, one way of, another way of getting to Kokosirach is to pull the heel in. And that's different from taking the toes out, and I'll show you that in a minute. So pulling the heel in this way of this of my, my left foot here actually gives me a lot more pressure here along this line. Now, if I take my toes out, it releases even more pressure. So let me get closer. So a way to see that is here's the joke. I'm gonna just step down into kibidach, horse senses here. So this is pretty much right in the middle of my body. Now, I am going to bring my heel in here, and you can see I shift back a little bit to add pressure here, and I go back. If I take my toes out, really not a lot of movement, but a little bit that way. So again, heel in, and pressure back this way. So from here, with the Joe right here on the edge of my foot, as I contra or, um, contraction down here and then expand out like so. So here's that same pressure. So the, the Coco Sedach actually looks a little off because we're so used to doing it just like we do Kibirach. So from here, I'll go to Kibirach and I'll press this knee all the way out, and now I'll pull this heel in. So here, heel in, I'm gonna drop this. Now, this is a position we should be in. Here, there's a lot of pressure on this leg, even for the kata gochil show. Here, so here, good. So remember, this is just my opinion. Um, it works for, for me and it works for uh, the students in my class, is to train to go to Kokusirach. Here is Kibirach, and I'm gonna go to Kokusirach, and the pressure pushes back here, which puts me in the correct position, because now this knee is over this toe. In Kibirach, my knee is over the toe. So if I go to Kokusirach, here, pressure, one, two. If I go to Kibirach, same knee, 
全部スラッチ。セインに、ニコラシラッチ。セインに、ヒブラッチ。And that's、uh, so thank you for watching. I hope the, this was helpful. If you have any more questions,、um, send me a, a message either on,、um, yeah, through Instagram, because I'll be posting this on Instagram, and I'll probably also post it on、uh, YouTube. But if you have any questions or comments about it, please don't hesitate to、um, DM me on my Instagram at CCDK Shotokan. Thank you for your time.